And welcome back to Talk of Alabama. Our Town America is a new mover marketing company that recently surveyed more than 650 millennials about their ideal city to live in. And Birmingham was named a top market for new millennials. We've got the Birmingham owner, Mr. Luke Wood, in the studio with all the details. So welcome to you first. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I'm glad you're here. So the top cities, Birmingham was ranked what? Third. Third. Right. Very nice. Who, who beat us? Who was one and Buffalo, two? New York, and Dayton, Ohio. So they might have beaten us uh, on some of those, but we definitely have warmer weather in the summer. Would, Not as much snow. I'm going to say, I'm from Ohio, and I spent <laughs> plenty of time in Buffalo, and they're like dark, gloomy cities. I'm exactly. shocked that they're in the top two. Exactly. Maybe, but it's based on not just beautiful weather. What is it based on? Uh, so, so the two of the big things were affordability. Um, and then one thing millennials look at when they're looking to move to a new area, is it a good place to have pets? Because a lot of millennials might not have families yet, but their family is them and their pet. So something great about Birmingham is not only downtown with, um, you know, some of the parks like Railroad Park, Rotary Trail, but just a short drive, you have Oak Mountain State Park, Okay. right? You have Ruffner Mountain. So you have plenty of places you can go explore with your pets and while still living in an affordable city. Okay, so it gives you kind of that big city feel without breaking the bank. Absolutely. So you're a millennial, you're 28, Correct. right? So what do you personally love about Birmingham? Uh, well, I might say just in the past 10 years, if you look, I live a little bit closer to downtown. You look at, you know, Regents Park they've put in, all the breweries they've put in. Yes. Um, just the revitalization of downtown. There's just so much more to do. And I do have a dog, so it's great to be able to, you know, go walk around and be able to afford to live there without, uh, you know, running out of all your money. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I told him, I said, I was shocked Charlotte wasn't in there. I used to live in Charlotte. And it was such a great city. But you said based on affordability, Charlotte's still expensive. Right. Atlanta, I've lived there. Expensive. D.C., expensive. Right. So lots of, lots of great cities, but again, they're going to and, and one thing about those cities, too, is they're great, but to get out of the city, you know, I mean, to get out of Atlanta, it might take you an hour, yes. right? To, to get it from Birmingham to even a lake or to a more rural area where you can go hiking, it might take five, ten minutes. Yes, okay, right. good point. What are some other great stats that the survey discovered? Um, well, one of the big things was, like I said, the revitalization. Um, if you look at the same survey taken 10 years ago, Birmingham yeah. didn't rank in the top 50, and now they're in the top five. So that really says a lot to how the city's changed. This one, 71% of millennials would choose to move for a higher paying job in the middle of nowhere, right? Over a lower paying job in a big dream city. Which is so interesting to right. me, because I mean, I'm certainly not a millennial, but when I after I graduated college, like, I think my class, everybody was like, let's get to the big city. Let's get right. to Washington or New York. And everybody wanted to go explore. And so it's interesting now people would rather live in the middle of nowhere but make more money. Right. Yeah, I, I did the same thing. So after I graduated, I actually moved to St. Louis. And I think I made like less than $30,000 a year. So I didn't have yes. any money. But I think people are now, you know, I don't know if it's the internet or people are just getting better advice of, hey, yes. you can live in an area. You might not be as much to do, but with all the disposable income, you can basically do whatever you want and get a lot more for your money. You know, my first job, I'm going to tell you guys something. My first job was in Joplin, Missouri. Okay. And talk about the middle of nowhere. Right. I made $18,000 a year. <laughs> That's pre-tax, you guys, pre-tax, 18000 which means I brought home less than twelve. So I was living on $1,000 a month, which had to pay my rent, my car, my groceries, my utilities, my gas, my entertainment. I should say I ate a lot of Raymond soup and hot dogs right. that year. But, I mean, it's, it's true. you really got to think about what you're going to be paying out and what you're going to be making. Right. So local businesses can kind of capitalize on this, right? Yeah, absolutely. So anytime someone moves, say, to Birmingham from out of town or if someone moves from downtown because they start a family might move to one of the you know school systems in Hoover or whatever it is they're looking for new businesses when they move yes. to a new area so I know when I moved here I needed to find some restaurants to go to a place to get my hair cut some gyms yes and so what we do is we partner with these businesses uh, to send the people that have just moved here housewarming gifts so we send them gift cards from these restaurants um, so the thought is, you know, they're looking for these businesses, these businesses are looking for them. So it's really a win-win for everyone because you just want to get them in through your door to kind of show them how great you are. That's right. The website at the bottom of the screen, it is ourtownamerica.com. 
Com. So look them up today if you've got friends or family moving here or maybe your neighbor's new or whatever. You meet somebody at the gym and they're new to the town, make sure and share that website with them. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank you for having me. I we appreciate, appreciate it. you. Don't go